The Garden of Eden has always piqued the interest of archaeologists all over the world. An exponential amount of time and hard work has gone into the discovery of the Garden of Eden, and it looks like all that hard work has finally paid off. This might be one of the greatest archaeological discoveries of our generation. Yes, the Garden of Eden seems to have been found by some of the archaeologists in Iraq. How do you think these archaeologists found the long-lost paradise of our ancestors, Adam and Eve? How did they determine if it was the Garden of Eden or not? Let's watch the video and find out. The Garden of Eden, also known as the Paradise, is a biblical garden described in the book of Genesis. It's considered to be the most beautiful place ever, though it has a mythical background. It was a paradise created by God, where the first humans, Adam and Eve, lived before they were kicked out due to their arrogance and disobedience. Numerous scholars and historians have been searching for this legendary garden. However, it was a perpetual effort that reaped no results. But something really exciting has happened recently. Looks like the Garden of Eden has finally been found. This revolutionary discovery can even rewrite the pages of history. Dr. John Smith and his group of archaeologists told that they have finally found the Garden of Eden. Dr. John and his team unexpectedly came across a cave located in northern Iraq. This cave led them to a huge network of underground tunnels. They decided to explore the rest of the cave only to find themselves in a large cavern. This cavern held a waterfall that was breathtakingly beautiful. John knew that this was a groundbreaking discovery. The cavern was unlike anything ever seen before. It was full of lush greenery filled with plants and fruits which were not native to Iraq. The most astonishing fact was that these plants found inside the cavern were genetically different from any other known species and were incredibly similar to the vegetation described in the Bible. The biblical narrative of the Garden of Eden is described as a beauty that no one could fathom, a lush paradisiacal place where the first human beings resided. It was abundant and filled with a variety of beautiful trees and its main attractions were the tree of life and the tree of knowledge of good and evil. The place was extremely serene and peaceful and was free from conflict, suffering, and death. Life there was immortal. Adam and Eve were the epitome of innocence and had a close relationship with God. The garden was watered by clear rivers originating out of Eden and proved to be a source of sustenance and nourishment. Adam and Eve were close with nature as they tended for the plants and animals equally. They had so dominion over every creature big and small. However, they were restricted from eating the fruit from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. This prohibition was in fact the test of obedience towards their creator. However, Satan got the best of them. Satan wanted to destroy the plan that God had for both Adam and Eve. He tempted Eve on eating the forbidden fruit as well as sharing it with her companion Adam. He tricked them into thinking that eating the fruits would turn them into entities unequal standing with God. Little did they know that a single bite of the fruit would be the reason for their downfall. When God found out what they had done, he sent them out into the world to undergo eternal suffering and sickness. This also meant that they had turned mortal. No longer were they exempted from death, nor did they have the ability to see God face to face. And this resulted in them leaving the most beautiful place one could have ever wished for. According to the Bible, the Garden of Eden was located in the eastern part of the world in a land called Eden. This garden had four rivers, namely Pishon, Gion, Tigris, and Euphrates. The garden had a perfect climate, neither too hot nor too cold, and this helped the plants to produce beautiful flowers and bountiful fruits. The garden was said to be filled with all sorts of animals, which included many wild beasts. Even then, all of them lived in harmony with each other. And with Adam and Eve. The location of such a garden had been the topic of numerous heated discussions since time immemorial. The story of Eden in the book of Genesis in the Bible has been the subject to various interpretations throughout history. Various religious scholars and individuals have offered various perspectives on its meaning. Some people take the Garden of Eden as being a literal truth. They view it as something that actually happened where the first humans, Adam and Eve, lived and got cast out for disobeying God's order, where he warned them not to eat the forbidden fruit. Another group of people understand the story as a symbolic event rather than a historical one. 
They claim the Garden of Eden to represent a metaphorical state of innocence, harmony, and a deep relationship with the Creator. Here, Adam and Eve symbolize humanity as a whole, and their arrogance and disobedience reflects the innate human nature and its tendency to stay away from a close relationship with the Creator. Some interpretations describe the Garden of Eden as a story which helps one to delve into the psychological exploration of the human condition. Themes of self-awareness, loss of innocence, and the development of a sense of individuality, identity, and the struggle with existential questions, such as nature of good and evil, are the main exponents of such an interpretation. There have been many theories and speculations regarding the location of the Garden of Eden. Places like the Middle East, Africa, and even the Americas are doubted to have held the Garden of Eden. Another group of scholars believe that the Garden of Eden was submerged underwater just like Atlantis, while some believe it to have been destroyed by natural disasters. Some theories believe the Garden of Eden to have been located in Mesopotamia, now Iraq, since the Euphrates and the Tigris rivers, now flowing through Iraq, were also among the four rivers that flowed through the Garden of Eden. The theory which places the Garden of Eden in Africa near the River Nile is also supported by the Bible, which mentions the River Pishon and Gion corresponding to the Nile and its tributaries. Many human remains found in Africa are attributed to the story of Adam and Eve. This theory believes that these remains might have been related to the first and foremost ancestors. According to Dr. Smith and his team's findings, the Garden of Eden is located in Iraq. The cave through which they first entered is believed to have been the main entrance towards the garden. The discovery of the Garden of Eden not only confirms the existence of the legendary garden which has been a topic of speculation and mythology for a very long time, but also sheds a new light on the story of Adam and Eve. Another significant point in the discovery of the Garden of Eden is regarding its distinct vegetation that can be a great factor in developing disease and climate resistance crops. Even though a lot of work has been put into finding the exact location of the Garden of Eden, it's still an extremely difficult task. Why is finding the Garden of Eden such a difficult task? The Garden of Eden holds significant religious and theological importance for many people. And even though it's been described in the Bible and other various Abrahamic religious texts, we still lack concrete evidence. The story of the Garden of Eden is primarily a religious and mythological account they carry symbolic and moral lessons rather than serving a factual historical record. Even after a lot of research and exploration, solid evidence is what it lacks. The world has gone through tremendous physical changes in the past, and it's likely that any evidence regarding the Garden of Eden might have been destroyed completely. Another factor that makes finding the Garden of Eden difficult is the topic of evolution. Humans have evolved greatly for millions of years, and finding their complex history is extremely difficult. Is the search for the Garden of Eden futile? The cave that was discovered recently is still undergoing excavation. Multiple challenges stand in front of the discoveries. In order to explore every nook and cranny, the archaeologists have to be really cautious so as to preserve the genetically diverse yet fragile ecosystem along with safely accessing the cave system. So. The Garden of Eden was a place of perpetual springtime teeming with life. Flowers bloomed year-round and every plant was pleasant to the eyes, and sounds of the waters that flowed through it were soothing to the ears. The discovery of the Garden of Eden might be the best find of our era. It can change our perception of history and our surroundings. Will this discovery change our understanding of the Garden of Adam and Eve? Can this discovery be a catalyst for further research? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below.